Ugh. I really, really enjoy it. It's just lovely. Mm. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well. Um, today I'm doing a little current favourites for you. Everything that I've loved throughout the month of July I'm going to be showing you. Ranging from like scent to beauty products, um, all types of things. My favourite TV show, uh, so stay tuned if you want to find out what that is. So starting with beauty, I'm not going to lie, this isn't something I really expected to be including in this video. Um, but it's something that I've absolutely been loving using. I've only had it, um, when did I pick this up? Friday and I'm filming this on Monday. So I've only had it four days but I've really, really been loving using this. Um, and it's actually the Brow Sketch brow pencil from Primark. So I've recently run out of my eyebrow pencil. Um, I can't even think about what brand it's from. It's like a really random brand on Beauty Bay and I love it. I repurchase it every time. Um, but I was actually watching Emily Philpott's uh, Get Ready With Me and she was talking about, um, I'm pretty sure this product because this is the only one I could find in Primark that was like similar to the one I used. Um, she was saying she bought one from NYX and it was like nearly £10 which is quite expensive for one of these. Um, they don't really last that long uh, but it is a staple in my makeup routine and something that I like to do my eyebrows with. So I thought instead of picking up my usual one which I think cost me about £8 from Beauty Bay really, I would try this one and oh my god I've been loving it. So I've got it on my eyebrows today, I don't know if you can really tell, I feel like whatever eyebrow product you use you pretty much get the same result. Um, and it's literally the perfect colour. They only really had two colours to pick from. So I went for this slightly warm brown shade. I think there was like a light brown one as well. But that was a bit more ashy and probably best for people with blonde hair. But yeah, this literally cost me £2 from the Primark Beauty section. I'm so, so happy with it. I've really been enjoying using it. On one end, it's just got a little spoolie. And then on the other side, it's just like this little twist up um, gel pen. I say gel pen, it's more like a pencil it's not like liquid obviously so for two pound i'm very very happy with this and will probably be repurchasing it rather than my usual one and um, just because the cost is so much cheaper these also don't um test on animals primark beauty which is really really good that's really nice to see so next up i'm going to be talking about my favorite hair products this month um i actually did a little three for two buy in boots recently and i picked up some lee stafford um products i really really like lee stafford products um i've used a lot in the past and i saw some stuff which i think is maybe new things i haven't really seen before so i actually picked up these three products the first one is the Lee Stafford Heat Protection Shine Mist. Um, so I just use this whenever I'm about to blow dry or straighten my hair just for some heat protection. It smells really, really nice. Really like a nice luxury sort of salon. My nose is all wet now. Um, and yeah, it just makes my hair feel lovely. It smells amazing. Really nice and shiny. Um, so yeah, I've been using this and loving it. Um, the next product that I picked up is the Hair Apology Intensive Care 10 in 1 Leave In Treatment Spray. So the next product that I picked up in the 3 for 2 um, is the Lee Stafford Hair Apology Intensive Care 10 in 1 Leave In Treatment Spray. And I just use this after the heat protection and the way this works is just you spray it in your hair when it's damp, blow dry and it leaves your ends feeling like really nice and soft and um, just works as kind of like a spraying conditioner. And then the third product that I picked up in the deal um, is actually my favourite hair product ever I think. Like I'm so so happy with this and that is the Lee Stafford Cactus Crush Thirsty Spray. So this says it's a super juicy and lightweight succulent blend of cactus, wild lime and Kalahari melon oil. Um, you're leaving cactus cocktail to instantly crush hair's thirst, leaving it hydrated, moisturised and feeling fresh. That was so satisfying to say. Like everything had a nice twang. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the packaging for this is just absolute gold. I love how it looks. I love how they made it all like tropical and like cocktail related. I think that's really nice. Um, and I simply just spray this in my hair once I've blow dried or straightened it or even just throughout the day if it's looking a little bit dry and it completely revitalizes your hair. It is incredible. It makes it, well firstly it smells absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's gone a little bit gunky, I'm not gonna lie. Mm, it smells gorgeous. This smells like when you're younger and like when you're like 
any age from like five up to like ten my mum used to use this like spraying conditioner in my hair um, to help detangle it after the shower and i can't remember what brand it was if i can remember what it was i'm gonna put a little picture on the screen here just so you know what i'm talking about and this oh this smells exactly like that oh it's gorgeous and yeah this i guess this kind of works in the way so i've been using this instead of oiling my hair um usually when my hair's looking a little bit dry i'll rub some like moroccan hair oil through my hands and just like comb it through the ends of my hair with my fingers um but this is a lot quicker, a lot less greasy, and you literally just, it's a really light spritz as well, so you just sort of go like that. Oh, the smell is unbelievable. Just sort of comb it through like you would. And yeah, just leaves your hair um, feeling a lot more hydrated, really nice, and moisturised. It is lovely. I really love those products. They're all sort of vegan and cruelty free as well, which I think is really important. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy with that. I really, really like the Lee Stafford brand. I will 100% be picking up a few more things from his collection because it's absolutely lovely. I say his, like Lee's a person, like I'm sure he is, but that's his brand, isn't it? I will be picking up a lot more stuff from Lee Stafford. <laughs> Okay, so moving on, I'm going to talk about my favourite scent. This was not a hard one to um, think about. My favourite scent this month is 100% this candle. Who is it even by? Oh, it's a DW Home candle. I didn't even know that. I honestly think these candles are the best. DW Home. Pick them up from TK Maxx Home Scents. Um, they're incredible. The scent payoff, is that the right word, is unbelievable. Like you burn it and within 10 minutes you can smell the candle so strong. Also the packaging is gold, like this is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. And this is the DW Home Dragon Fruit Sweet and Tropical and Fruity Candle. It says ripe dragon fruit with zesty pomelo, pomelo? Pom pomelo and pear amid fresh guava. Pineapple and pomegranate, so it's really fruity. Oh my god. It's honestly unbelievable. If you can get your hands on this candle, I would 100% recommend. So, it's a two wick candle. Burns absolutely beautifully. This gorgeous frosted glass. Oh, that's some ASMR for you. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? So, the jar is just lush i love how it looks i love that it's pink and sort of ombres up into the white just smells glorious i wish i could like mm. it's just super super fruity but really tropical as well just like mm. i could literally sniff that all day it's insane um this massive old jar cost me 7.99 from tk maxx or home sense they're the same shop aren't they it's the same shop pretty much i think yeah, that's really weird actually. So like my home sense at my local home sense is upstairs in my local TK Maxx. So they must be part of the same shop. I just don't understand what's different about them. But yeah, this has been burning most days in my bedroom and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. So the next thing I actually want to talk about is the Glossier Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Face Mask. I showed this in a recent vlog that I filmed maybe like a month ago. Um, I did quite a big Glossier uh, shop. And yes, I've really, really been enjoying using this face mask. So this is one of the products I picked up. Um, it's a detoxifying face mask. It's one like this, so you sort of scoop it out of your hands or a brush and apply it to your face. Wait till it's dry and wash it off. Um, it has these tiny little beads in which really help to exfoliate your skin doesn't have the most lovely smell i've got to say like some face masks i use have a really really nice smell um this one's a little bit it's not horrible it just smells very sparry like it smells like it's probably going to do good for your face <laughs> so it says apply a thick layer to moist skin oh i've always put it onto dry skin Okay, I'll do that next time. Allow to dry for 20 minutes, avoiding the eye area and rinse well. And yeah, I just feel like this has done miracles for my skin. Every time I have a breakout, um, I will use this. Uh, and yeah, I really, really enjoy it. It's just lovely. But yeah, I feel like if your skin's in some need of like some major TLC, this 
is the one i think this cost 18 pound i want to say which is quite pricey for a face mask um but yeah it's worth every penny i really really like it so my next favorite is actually something i'm wearing right now and it is um a piece of clothing and it is my adidas originals neutral shorts um a haul's gone up on my channel showing you the whole adidas neutrals collection i purchased everything um, so I could show you guys and do a little review um, and these were one of the things I decided to keep so I'll leave that video um, linked at the top so you can check it out if you haven't watched it already and yeah I absolutely fell in love with these shorts I kept these shorts and a bodysuit um, that matches with it I really really love them I think they're so stylish you can literally wear them with any sort of plain top um, I love the colour they're just so comfortable the pockets are so practical and yeah I've just really really enjoyed wearing these this month so far the great thing is they're so casual but so like fashionable at the same time like you can make them look really really good without trying too hard um, a lot of people have complimented me on them and said how much they like them and i've sort of sent them in the right direction to buying them um yeah i just think they're so super cute i love them i kind of wish i kept the brown pair as well i feel like they might have to be a little purchase when i get paid um so yeah i just really really been loving these um and of course they'll be linked in the description for you to check out if you want to for yourself so next is something I'm really excited to talk about um, and it's actually my favourite TV show this month. I have been loving Selling Sunset so much. I've nearly finished season two which I'm upset about but also happy about because I think on like August 20th season three is coming out. <gasps> I'm so excited. So if you've never heard of Selling Sunset, um, it's an American sort of reality TV show that's on Netflix. Um, basically they all work for a brokerage, yeah, they work for a brokerage in LA called the Oppenheim Group. Um, and two twin brothers sort of like co-own it and they hire all these absolutely stunning women to sell their very, very expensive homes for them. Um, so you have an insight into the houses in LA that are being sold up in the Hidden Hills, in the Valley, um, on Sunset Plaza, the most beautiful homes you ever did see. So they sell homes from like 2 million up until I think the most expensive was like 70 million dollars, um, which is just mental. They are honestly unbelievable homes. And there's also loads of drama. So the girls get into like alter alterifications, alter altercations they get into arguments um there's lots of beef it is really juicy there's marriages engagements divorces children everything it's really really fun um really cringy american tv basically like you can tell half of it is so set up and yeah but it is just trash tv isn't it and i absolutely love it and i'm really excited for season three to come out i'd say my favorite person in the program is Chriselle. uh I love her. I think she's so, so sweet. I feel like she's had nothing but crap thrown at her basically since she joined um, the brokerage. I really didn't like Christine at the start. She's warming on me a little bit more now. I like how she's like very fiery and everything, but at the same time, I think she can be very rude. Love Maya. I think she's really cute. I love Heather. I think she's stunning. Um, really dislike Davina. If you like Davina, we can't be friends because she is not my type of girl, I'll tell you that. What the hell? Ooh. So yeah, if you're into anything American trashy reality TV, you will really, really like Selling Sunset. Um, so definitely check it out on Netflix. It is fabulous. Oh shit, I didn't think of a song. So my favourite song at the moment is actually by an artist called... Evan McIntosh. McIntosh? Evan McIn McIntosh. I want to say McIntosh, but there's no A between the M and the C, so it's McIntosh. Um, and it's a song called Wild, spelt W-I-Y-U-L-D. Um, I've just really been enjoying it. I only found it like a few weeks ago um, on some random playlist on Spotify and it's just a proper like vibey song. You know when a song's like really vibey and you can just imagine like driving at like two o'clock in the morning down like some lit up street listening to this song with the windows open. Is that really weird? Yeah, it's just a really vibey song and I love it. And that's the fire. Run it up like I want you. And I feel wild. 
It also has this really cute little dancing girl. Look at her. So yeah, I've just really been enjoying vibing to that song. I love it. I've never actually heard of the artist before. I'm gonna search them up. Cause if I like that, then I'll probably like other songs by them. I'm gonna follow him. Let's listen to another song actually. <gasps> I can feel the vibes already. Oh wow. I'm so confused. It's a boy, but I'm gonna have to do some searching because I'm confused now. Oh my God, it's a girl. Okay, I'm really sorry, Evan. Okay, it's a girl and her voice is absolutely beautiful. Wow, she's stunning. Okay, I'm gonna leave her name below um, on the screen so you can check her out. She is insane, what the hell. So, let's move on to my favourite app. My favourite app this month is actually Template. Um, it's like a photo app. You can like um, put photos in different sort of formats for like stories and stuff. And yeah, I've just really been loving it. I'm actually using it um, when I post a new video. I take like some stills from the video and put them into the template and put it on my story. I was gonna say Snapchat story, not my Snapchat story. My Instagram story, um, so people can see, have a little uh, insight into what the video is gonna be about. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. You can pick from either story, a feed post, or a gallery post. So these are the different templates. Oh, there's a sale. Um, so there's, as you can see, there's like um, some paid for options, which you do actually have to pay for. Oops. But there are a few um, free ones, which I like to use personally. So there's classic, um, and these are what they look like. You'd obviously just put your pictures into the squares. Really cute, just a little bit edgy, you know, something different. So yeah, there's absolutely loads of different types, and I think they're all really, really cute. Oh look, there's even some of those little ones that people do on Instagram, cute. Um, and then there's some ones which look sort of like film. These are the ones that I like to use. So yeah, currently I just use the free version of the app. Um, I'm really happy with what you can actually get for free. So yeah, I've really, really been enjoying using that app this month. Um, probably will eventually get around to purchasing a few of the packs because I think they're really lovely. Um, so yeah. So my final favourite is actually um, a book. It's another random TK Maxx find. Um, but I'm so happy that I found it. It is this book by the author Christina Carlson and it's called Your Dream Life Starts Here. So it's basically, it's so thick. It's a massive journal um, all about like manifestation and gratitude and your dream life. So recently I've actually really been getting into like manifestation and gratitude and stuff like that. I think it's so important to sort of recognise this stuff in your day, um, in your life. It's really important to have that mindset. It's really, really helped me recently. Um, I've pretty much already manifested like two things and they've came true, which I'm so happy about. Um, it really does work if you have that positive can-do attitude. Um, so yeah, this is basically just a journal and I love it. So it's got some really lovely like imagery, um, some dream guidance, all sorts. So there's actually like 25 chapters in the book and each chapter has some really inspiring sort of writing. She's spoken about her dreams and like things that she manifested to happen. Um, and it's on this gorgeous paper. It's all really like aesthetically pleasing if you like that sort of thing. And then at the end of each chapter, there is a task to complete, um, which is sort of relating to the things she's been talking about. So the task that I'm currently working on, um, so this book is quite a big task. Does that make sense? It's like a big thing that you slowly work through. Um, and just take your time with and enjoy basically. So my current task is writing down 101 dreams. So 101 things that I want to get out of life or things that I want to happen. Um, so far I've written down 21. Um, obviously it's one of those things um, that will take time. 101 dreams is quite, quite um, a lot. So one of the pages here actually has your dream year. So there's January, February, March, April, May and so on. Um, so you sort of write, you know, exactly what you want to happen in the months, what you'd like to achieve, um, 
yeah and I think it's just a really nice way of sort of manifesting the future and really talking about the things you really want because I feel like that's how things are really going to happen if you actually talk about it and put it into writing. So yeah I'm just really really happy with this book. Here's an example of some of the lovely images it has. I like those sort of lovely little flat lay images. And yeah I've just been absolutely loving this book. It's really really inspiring um, really helping me to plan for the future and be grateful for everything that I've got and yeah love it this was 9.99 from tk maxx as well which i don't think is bad for a book of this size and something that i'm probably going to be working on for like a year at least because it's hefty so those are actually all my current favorites for the month of july um i love everything here i'm going to leave everything linked in the description below so you can check it all out so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this um don't forget to like and comment on this video as well if you enjoyed it too. I will leave my Instagram below so you can go check me out there. Um, yeah, and again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.